Hi everyone, it's Grada here and good to be back. I'm doing uh, You Are The Miracle FM a, a one night earlier because I wanted to check in with you tonight to see how everyone is going because there's a lot of stress and uncertainty out there in the world around you and I'm here to support you. So tonight um, I'm going to take you through a beautiful meditation that's going to help you release fear and tension and anxiety from everything that you're bombarded by so you uh, feel strong and resilient and your immune system is stronger. So it's absolutely true that the world around us is changing. Um, it's like the old life is gone, the chapter is closed and um, life is never going to be quite the same as it was before even long after all this has passed so i see this as a a huge opportunity for us to to grow to rise up and to gain something from this and um and yeah of course i feel anxiety too i feel the same um nervousness and tension and at the same time uh, I've lived through much worse and I want to talk to you a little bit about that tonight. I want to share what happened with me um, when I got hit by a truck. So when I was 43 and I'm 58 now, so that's uh, already 15 years ago, the most unexpected thing happened out of the blue. Uh, it was four o'clock in the afternoon, just a normal day. And suddenly my world as I'd known it ended when um, I was getting into my car and a truck came past and misjudged the gap and crashed into my back and my life ended in that moment. And I'm here to tell you that the most remarkable thing happened when I had a near-death experience. Uh, when I left my body, so I stepped outside my body, literally, I could see my body lying on the road and uh, um, I became aware that I was in a space of absolute beautiful um, peace and calm and everything was in order. It was pure awareness, pure presence. And then I also realized this is my true state. This is my true self. I'm always here. I will always be here. And so when I came back in my body, I had that awareness that I was literally recharged and that energy of that awareness that moment of enlightenment reset every cell in my body so that I was able to heal very very quickly. I healed very quickly from having a, a broken back in many places, broken pelvis, broken bones, internal bleeding, uh, you name it and I you know 10 weeks later I was home in a wheelchair and I was cooking my first um, meal for the night for the kids I still remember wheeling around the kitchen and chucking, you know, chucking tea together. So there was tea for the family when they came home. So we're all cap much more capable of, of surviving than you would ever believe. That's the story that I want to give you tonight. Like your bones can heal very, very fast, much faster than even a doctor would tell you. Um, your immune system is so strong, it can literally survive pretty much everything and anything but the key is you need to focus on on survival you need to focus on the positive uh, and so when you feel yourself be pulled down uh, by fear and anxiety um, that's not a good thing but I'm also not saying that you have to resist it but as soon as you feel fear in your body and you start to doubt which is only human and I'm human too like I had some really really deep dark moments many of those but overall i kept on forcing myself to focus on seeing myself fully alive running through the garden picking flowers playing with the kids just happy pictures and i never knew that it was going to happen but it did happen because what we think and what we believe always comes true the same as the law of gravity if you drop an apple if you you know um it drops to the ground or if you drop a it breaks so that's the same with all our thoughts and um, my students and my clients they know that they've actually experienced what it's like 
to connect with the inner force, with the inner guru, with their immune system or to drop into their soul because I usually take them through different steps so they feel that energy shift and my clients come in all stressed and anxious and usually they have pain and worry and when they leave they um, feel peaceful and relieved. So tonight I would like you to experience that as well because um, there are two realities. There is the outside reality of course and there is the inside reality and the in inner world needs to become much much more important than your outer world. The way I healed my body and I literally had no choice by the way so that's it's not that I'm smart or I'm a hero. I literally had no choice. I knew that if I um, started to think negative or listen to what the doctor said or all the prognosis and the diagnosis, I would still be in a wheelchair today. I probably wouldn't even be alive today. So I promise you when you tune into your inner core, so that's one, and I'm going to take you through a meditation tonight uh, where I will guide you into your inner core so you get to experience it and enjoy what it's like to connect with your own inner presence. So we do that first. Then I will help you think the right thoughts that are going to make you strong and healthy and calm. And then um, you feel an energy shift and then you're on your way because nobody knows what the future is going to hold. And fear uh, is the opposite to love, by the way, but on the other side of fear is freedom. That's what you have to remember. So uh, fear, of course, is normal. It's a normal experience as a human being while we're in this body only by the way because as soon as you leave your body which is what I experienced you leave your nervous system behind literally you step out of your nervous system at the point of death or at the point of near death and um, fear isn't there fear is absent and that's when you realize I am unconditional love that's all you are because of course you know that fear and love they kind of share the same space in your body so if your cells are full of fear you can't be feeling your beautiful loving being you can't feel love coming in you can't feel love going out and you feel very kind of poor on the inside so um, the aim in life is always to transmute or transform fear or scarcity into love and abundance and freedom and you can do that too if i can do it you can do it if i can survive being hit by a truck you can survive um uh, all kinds of viruses and problems that come your way like even um you know people worry about their income and their money and so on we're all in the same boat by the way everyone is in the same boat so you may as well choose to believe in the best, best ending. So when we do this meditation tonight, I also want you to have intention of the very, very best outcome for yourself, for your loved ones and for the world if your heart is big enough. And just before I lead you into the meditation, I also wanted to say that this didn't just work for me. Um, it also worked for my daughters. Um, because both daughters at different times broke one broke her wrist one time and um she she uh, she simply kept working she took the cast off and she kept working and her her wrist was better in two weeks and then another daughter fell on she fell on her elbows i think it was last year and um uh within a fortnight her elbows were completely healed as well and she was a busy mom with two little babies so she didn't rest either so i'm not saying that you shouldn't rest i'm just saying you can give your immune system a massive boost by tuning into your inner core self um, and doing the exercise that i'm going to show you tonight so my children of course they were spoon fed all this stuff so um that's why they have a bit of an advantage. Okay, so uh, what I want you to do first is take a nice deep breath into your body. Count, I say, do it really, really slow to the count of six. So breathing in and breathing out. 
breathing in one two three four five six breathing out one two three four five six and gently close your eyes okay as you do so become aware of your heart space your own beautiful space in your heart and you imagine you not just breathing in and out through your nose you're breathing in and out through your heart space through the center of the front of your chest into the heart breathing into your heart and breathing out And simply keep doing that for a while feeling your heart grow bigger and bigger and bigger just imagine it getting so big it takes in the size of your family and your loved ones and your community and breathing out again breathing in relaxation and calm and breathing out unconditional love so just do that for a while breathing in peace and calm breathing out unconditional love through your heart because you are unconditional love nothing else all the rest is superficial at your inner core behind your stresses your worries your anxieties and your tension is unconditional love just see if you can drop deep inside your heart and if you can do that now into your heart and out and now your heart's getting bigger and bigger you can visualize the color green and as it's getting bigger you can see it connect with everyone else's heart maybe your heart is starting to beat with the same heartbeat as your imaginary friend or your loved ones that you're connecting with through your energy and remember everyone everyone's true inner core essence is unconditional love we're all the same so just enjoy sitting in that for a minute okay now come up um, through your neck and go in behind your eyes in the space behind your eyes there's another secret room behind your eyes lives your higher self your highest self your highest good the blueprint of your soul and usually when you go in behind your eyes it feels nice and spacious there just explore that space behind your eyes and keep breathing and relaxing breathing out unconditional love breathing in relaxation blessing the world with your unconditional love on the out breath taking the unconditional love up in your head space behind your eyes now you might be surprised that all your stresses are gone and just see if you can find any stresses behind your eyes it's hard even to notice any thoughts because it's empty there and spacious just become aware of the space behind your eyeballs and the back of your skull see how roomy it is there how quiet how peaceful that your own inner guru dwells there okay so now you've contacted um, that part of yourself your inner guru your inner peaceful self that's your set point for your immune system you can drop down into your heart again and then we drop down into our pelvis where there is another room so we have three core rooms at the back of our being behind our eyes behind or inside our heart and then deep inside our belly you can also call it the hara so just drop deep into your belly feel your bum on the seat 
wherever you are. And to your surprise, you might notice that it's also really still there and peaceful. And maybe it feels heavy. And that's where the universe uh, becomes one with you. And it's very, very still and silent there. So just go in there. Drop your awareness down towards the back of your pelvic area. Okay, so now your heartbeat is slow down, your breathing is slow down, your immune system, your immune system is set for perfect healing, for perfect health. Uh, your body is remembering the blueprint for perfect happiness, peace, and um, abundance because the universe is a place of abundance and infinite power and these are your three connection points and you can choose whether you want to go inside your heart inside the space behind your eyes or in your pelvic area they're equally as good and uh, some of us are more used to going say into the heart women tend to go into the heart perhaps men tend to go more behind the eyes which is all good. The, one of the most important receiving uh, containing points is your pelvic area though. So deep inside your pelvis. So we can do it now. And see if you can stretch that space out and make it really, really big and spacious. So just do that now. And so these are all key points where you can meet your own innermost self, your secret, the secret side of you. Because we always have two minds. You have your subconscious mind or your, you could say your, um, maybe we should call it your spirit. And that's like this. It's always still. It's always observing. It's immortal. It's always there. It's been there since the beginning of the world and it will always be there. And then we have our roller coaster, emotional, mental, physical, human side, all that long. And just recently, it's been um, the stresses have been more intense, like we go deeper and maybe we go higher. But um, every day we need to make sure that your roller coaster mind actually tunes into your real self your abundant side that never changes this is your unlimited side that's connected to the universe and the universe is a field of infinite potential infinite energy infinite intelligence and it doesn't matter what your reality looks like right now maybe it's not looking very good but by tapping into your true self and into the universe everything can be reborn you can, your whole life can be reborn you can grow a new body you can grow a new life new career new business opportunities new relationships just see it as a an opportunity for um, creating the life that you always wanted to have like um um, how can I say that? It's like a tree loses its leaves in autumn and then in spring it grows again and you see beautiful new growth. So, uh, you know, I'm not saying that it's not painful today, but just tune into your deeper self and become part of the blessing that's hidden deep inside this experience that the world is going through, the experience of um, extreme insecurity, extreme vulnerability and it's an opening for us, a portal through which we can step to enjoy new levels of inner peace and inner freedom. So just to get back into the meditation, wherever you are right now, just drop into your soul and you can do that really quickly, just one breath in through your nose and out. And remember, breathing out, you are breathing out unconditional love. Okay, right? People sometimes think we're full of toxicity, we're full of stressors. But I like to think we are blessing the world around us, our inner world and our outer world, with the breath of unconditional love that's coming from our heart. So just do that now and see how beautiful that feels to you. 
So as a final uh, ending to this meditation, I'm going to take you again to connect with your, um, your uh, bum, feel it sitting on the seat, feel the legs on the ch your legs on the chair and your feet on the ground. And then we're going to drop further down and really, really ground this energy in. So drop three feet into the center of Mother Earth. So just imagine Mother Earth is a living being. She's conscious of everything that you're going through in your personal life. She is aware and conscious of what humanity is um, going through at the moment of all the suffering of mankind, of the animal kingdom and the plant kingdom. Mother Con Nature is conscious of that. And just drop down all the way into the center of Mother Earth. And do that now. And imagine there's a point of light in the middle there of Mother Earth. And as you drop into that light, you become aware that there is a beautiful healing room that's being prepared for you. So just go and step into that healing room. That's just for you. It's perfect. It's been made for you in mind because your life matters. You're important. And step into that room and maybe in the middle of the room is a beautiful bed or a cushion and just imagine lying down there and there's soft light. Maybe you see some little fairies or spirit helpers or your ancestors or spirit guides or some loved ones. They can be there at your back and call. So just when you're breathing out, Remember unconditional love, breathing in relaxation. Now, as you're in your own special sanctuary, suddenly you remember, you remember that you are infinite, that you've survived much worse. Just think of all the things you've survived during your life already and how well you did that, how resilient you are, how much how wise you are, how much you've overcome already and how easy you did that. And think of all those fears you used to have in the past and they all mounted to nothing. You still came out the other end. And just think of the courage you've had in the past, all the good things you've done, the many times you've healed, all the struggles you've overcome. Just think of how far you've come. Think of how grateful you are for your body and for the universe. Feel your body respond to the love that you have in your body. Feel that beautiful love for yourself. Feel how much you love yourself. Feel how much you love your family, your loved ones. And once again, connect with your heart. Feel how big it is. And allow your own heart to connect with all the other hearts in the universe. Knowing that we are all one. We are all connectedness. So... Feel that energy flow through your body, knowing that in and out through your heart, through your inner center, you can tune yourself up any time of the day and night. There's that uh, invisible energy that flows from the universe to restore your body, to rejuvenate you, to replenish you. This energy doesn't come from sleep, it doesn't come from food. It's given to you by the universe. It's all around you. You're swimming in a sea of it and your body knows how to respond to it. Your body knows how to accelerate healing. Your body knows how to help you feel peaceful and calm and um, to keep you safe and to keep your loved ones safe. So just come back into your body now. Come back up through your feet, through your knees, your legs, your pelvic area up into your heart, up through your neck and behind your eyes and then you can open your eyes and be in the room again. So every day you can do a meditation for 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes 
and um, that really really boosts your immune system but not only that it's also going to attract good things into your life blessings uh, it's going to uh, help you connect to your loved ones in a better way and of course you become aware of the power out of unconditional love that's your true nature and that's how you can heal the world heal yourself first and then heal the world and have a calming effect on your environment and be the light that you are that's going to help you shine um, the light and be helpful to everyone in your community so i hope you've really found this helpful and if you um jumped in in the middle of it you can go back and replay it again maybe tomorrow or spend some time listening to it and so remember that um, if you um, drop through your fear, you just drop through your fear, you, you achieve freedom, right? And the more often you do it, the freer you're going to feel. So maybe tomorrow you go to work or wherever you are, you become fearful again. You simply drop through that again and you become more and more liberated and expanded and spacious. Because just to put everything in a nutshell, if you put all of humanity, all the 7 billion humans in the world together and took all the space out of our bodies, because we're mostly space, you could fit all of us into a sugar cube, into one tiny little sugar cube. So we do tend to blow things up in our mind too much. And fear actually stands for false evidence appearing real. So again, uh, control your thought, just be more vigilant what you're thinking about all the time and just love yourself for feeling fearful ra rather than coming down hard on yourself just love yourself and you get caught up in fearfulness bring yourself back and say i love myself for feeling fearful i love myself for feeling anxious i love myself for feeling uncertain i love myself for feeling tired i love myself for feeling hopeless or whatever the emotions are that are flooding your body because I know there are many states and anxieties and influences that are flooding through you right now. Just love everything that flows through you and then spend time connecting with your inner, most deepest self so you can grow a new life. And I know that you can do it. I did it and I'm nothing special. I'm simply a woman, a mom of six kids, um, you know, I wasn't trained in meditation or growing new bodies or anything like that. I just kept focusing and believing uh, that focusing on a good outcome. I visualized myself running around in the garden because I love my garden. And, and it happened. So you can do that too. Um, yeah, so I, I actually wrote a book about it, which I, you probably all know, but in case you don't know, I'll post the link where you can buy it. It's called You're the Miracle, How Being Hit by a Truck Saved My Life. And um, yeah, hopefully you can um, download it or buy it or whatever and uh, read it maybe when you're in isolation because i think you'll relate to it and you'll find it very very helpful and um, i'm telling you all this to inspire you to believe in yourself don't give up on yourself and i'm going to leave you now thanks for tuning in and big love to you all stay safe and i'm in your corner i'm here to support you i might do some extra videos to help you through a little bit and tomorrow night at 7 p.m., Peter is going to do a, a very practical sequence to help um, to help you feel more relaxed as well and less stressed. And that will be on the Purple House Facebook. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Stay safe.